This video will show you how to create a Roxim file for a rocket where the nose cone comes down separate from the bottom of the rocket. Um, this is going to be very helpful for, for TARC contestants uh, where you need the nose to be as light as possible. What we're going to do here is going to split up the rocket into two stages. A top stage which is the nose and the bottom stage which is everything else. So what you see here is a rocket um, and I have two parachutes in it and this main body tube right here is going to be the separation point. So what I need to do is to copy this. I'm going to go up to the file and copy. Uh, then I'm going to paste it onto a second stage. So I need to go to the design attributes tab change the number of stages to two-stage rocket. Then go back to the design components and now we see our booster stage down here and I'm going to go up to the edit and, and paste again. And now uh, it's down here. We need to just select a two-stage rocket and then you can see it here on your design. Um, I need to get rid of this main body tube at the top now and I'll just go file edit uh, oops I can just do it right here just hit delete component say yes and there it is now it's deleted and basically the rocket looks the same as it did before but when we change it back to a single stage rocket we just see the nose cone and back to two stage um, to run the simulation uh, well, first I need to take this parachute here that's in the bottom stage and I need to move it up to the top because I do need a parachute in the top. So I'm going to take this and go highlight it and go edit, copy, or cut. And then uh, select a tube up here where I can paste it and hit paste. Okay, and now it's up here in the top and I can go here and edit the position of that um, parachute. And I'll hit uh, three inches from the tip. And it's a OK. So there's that parachute plus that parachute. Now this one is associated with the nose cone. This one is associated with the bottom of the rocket. Um, now I'm ready to run a launch simulation. And there is one trick you need to do in here. Uh, when I click on this though, first I'm going to get an, an error message saying that we need a tube in the top stage that's designated as a motor mount. And we want to do that now and I'm going to say yes. And here are all the tubes in the, in the rocket. And I'm going to designate this one right here, which in actuality is that little tube right there. I'll say that's a motor mount tube, even though I'm not going to put anything into it. So this is the top tube. And here is our bottom stage with its motor mount. And I'm going to ignore this top one. And I'm going to highlight this one. And I'm going to put the engine in there. And I'll just select a C6-5 just for grins just to run a simulation. Um, and then under flight events, now this is where we're going to tell it to deploy the parachutes. So under the event de description on the booster, we want to set this to deploy at stage separation. When is stage separation? Stage separation occurs when the ejection charge of the booster motor fires. In this case, our booster motor is going to eject at five seconds. So that is when this top booster parachute is going to deploy. Now the sustainer parachute, the one that's attached to the nose, we need to set that one at a deploy at time after ignition. All these other options, they don't work. So make sure it's set to deploy at time after ignition. Now when it does ignition occur on the top stage since there's no motor in it? Well, in Roxim, ignition always occurs when the ejection charge of the motor under it happens. So in this case, um, at five seconds after the engine burns out um, is when ignition begins for the top stage. So this is going to occur exactly at the same time as this one occurs. Okay. And then under simulation controls, uh, we're setting it at 800 samples a second starting state. We're launching straight up. Launch conditions, we have a five mile an hour wind. And we'll go ahead and click flight profile to click the launch. 
Okay, so now we see our rocket right here. Now your rocket's going to look different. I went ahead and uh, pre-did the, uh, the sprite files that create this rocket image, uh, but don't worry about that. And if you're using a streamer, uh, the streamer in Roxon version 9 doesn't show up when you generate new sprites, so ignore that too. Uh, you don't have to email me about it. I know about it. We're trying to fix it. So we'll go ahead and start the animation playback. And we have the launch of the booster stage. Now it's going to coast for five seconds. And we should see both parachutes for the booster and the top stage happening. So this little red one is for the nose cone, and the orange one is for the booster stage. It's kind of hard to see it at this point, so I'll just go ahead and scroll a little bit forward so they separate a little bit. And say, here's our top stage, and here is the booster section. And as you can see, we're 122 seconds into the flight. So if you're in TARC and you need to get down to 45 seconds, uh, you know what to do. So that's how to set up a situation where the nose cone comes down separate from the bottom part of the rocket.